Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Anna. And you can see right here, we are doing a totally different video besides planning out my weekly in my recollection or in my personal. I wanted to do something like this for a while now and I finally decided let's just go ahead and do it. What am I talking about? I am talking about trying to cut freehand um, a printable file. So with that being said, if you're new, let me just explain. I do love to print out printables and cut them on my silhouette. I do have a silhouette portrait and it was the best investment ever. Well, I didn't invest in it. It was a present for my birthday, so I am in love with that. And yeah, I love either doing my own um, printable file for my planner, or I print the ones that are free, like in my Planner Envy. She has a lot of samplers there. Or I would purchase them on Etsy, which is from either Paper and Gumption or the um, Designer Sticker Store. I think that's the name I'm saying it right. Hopefully I am. And I would just download a file, put it in my um, silhouette program, and send it off to print and cut. But moving now ahead, I found this blogger. Oh my God, I fell in love with this blogger's site. She has beautiful, beautiful, as you can see here, beautiful, beautiful um, printables. But the only thing is, they are not... Um, well, okay, she only offers it to be printed out in a PDF form. So that doesn't help me with cutting it because I need to have it in a silhouette file cut form. So last week, no, two weeks ago, no, last week, last week, the week of Thanksgiving spread, it was one of her kits that I actually dismantled and put it in to two sheets that I could cut myself. That took me forever. So I wanted to go ahead and try this style by just trying to use it to cut it out kiss cut style with my box cutter. I mean, if you have, what do you call those things? I'm having a memory loss here of the tool you use to cut things out in paper. I, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know, but I know I have my box cutter here and it works just as good. So anyway, since I want to use this kit, I want definitely to try to use as much as possible from it. So this is where we come to where we are right now. And I figured, you know what? I know there's people out there who love printables, but don't have a silhouette. Because before I had a silhouette, let me tell you, I would just print out something that I liked and I would cut it out with scissors and it would take forever for me to do. But that is an option. If you don't have a silhouette and you don't want to go ahead and cut it out yourself with a box cutter or what is that called? It's going to kill me so I remember what it is. Anyway, just definitely not trying to kiss cut it out yourself and you're just comfortable with scissors, then hey, go ahead. I've done that for a very long time. I think I did that for the first year of me planning. I just did it that way. Cut it out myself with scissors. So... I know there's people out there who are like, okay, I want to try to kiss cut it myself, but I don't know how to do it or what I need to do. So this is why I wanted to film this process. If I mess it up, well, you know what? I'll just reprint it. But I really want to see if I could do this and at the same time help anyone else like me who wants to do it. So first things first, what do you need? Definitely you need the file and you need it to have it printed out on sticker paper, obviously. And if you don't have sticker paper, then you know what? Um, you go ahead and find them cheap in either Walmart or Staples or whatever. And you don't have to have um, premium matte or anything like that. Just regular matte paper would do. Next, you definitely need a cutting mat. You won't cut any surface that you're working with. Your table, your uh, kitchen countertop, you need a cutting mat so it will protect your surface. This one that I'm using here is from Creative Mark. And it is from... 12 by 18 inches cutting mat and in fact this is my daughter's cutting mat that she used for her art class as you can see that's where there's paint everywhere but she let me borrow it so I'm going to go ahead and use it and of course you definitely will need some type of ruler I would prefer like a metal a metal ruler I can't find it 
so I'm just opting out for this um, ruler here. As long as you have a straight edge, that's all you need. And of course, something to kiss cut the paper. And like I said, I have this box cutter. I got this in the dollar store. In? Yeah, in the dollar store. So yeah, I've been using this for a while now. It works great. So that is the tools that you would definitely need for this project. Now, I am going to go ahead and do this, but I am going to speed it up because I don't know how long it is going to take me to actually do this. So yeah, when I'm done with this or if I'm done with what I need, because I don't need these circular ones and I don't need the actual um, snowflakes and I won't need these. Like I'm not going to completely cut everything. I'm just going to cut out the ones that I would want to use for my um, plan with me. Okay, sounds good? Makes sense? Okay, so let's go ahead and start this. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so this is how it turned out and I just remembered while I was cutting this that is called an exacto knife. See, sooner or later it will come to my brain. I also forgot to mention in the beginning that you're supposed to only apply light pressure while you kiss cut. That's what's called kiss, not completely slice because, you know, it's going to break the paper. Like, for example, I overdid it here and I went right through the paper, but... I got the full box out, which is what we really are aiming for. And I also did the same thing on this sheet here. Where is it? Oh, right here. But again, my box came out perfect. So definitely, it is a little tricky to do this. It's not simple, but I guess if you keep doing it, you'll get really good you know, you get the hang of it and you become better and better each time you actually do this process. So for being my first time, this is my first time, if I didn't mention it, I think I did exactly what I needed to do to cut the ones that I want. Like I was never going to be able to cut my weekend banner using my box cutter or the circles one here. I could do this with my scissors later on. And let me see. Like I said before, I didn't want the entire kit. I did some I did definitely want these, but I didn't need these headers because I want to use some glitter headers with this when I actually plan with it. So yeah, the name of this kit, if I did not mention, is called White Winter. And again, it is from Planner One Love. I will definitely link her site down below. Go ahead, check her out. Let her know that Anna sent you. And yeah, you will fall in love with her kits. Definitely. Okay, so I'm definitely going to close the video out on there. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them all down below. And yeah, I'm definitely going to try to do this again with another kit soon. So if you do, and if you did, should I say, like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, please go ahead and stick around, hit that subscription button. And yeah, I would definitely film some more of these if there is a demand for it so yeah i am going to leave it off there by saying like always i love each and every single one of you take care of one another and i will see you in my next video bye bye